there's a rock right there. There's a huge rock right there, and it's covered up by grass. There's a fuzzy bunny rabbit on the train. There's a fuzzy bunny rabbit on the train. And he's wiggling his nose and his little bunny toes. There's a fuzzy bunny rabbit on the train. It's here. You should have been here, man. Those were the shows. Oh, looks like somebody made a friend. I know. Aren't they cute together? Adorable. I'm Lois. Hi, I'm Hope. Any relation to Bob Hope? <laughs> Stewie, do you want to be the Autobots or the Decepticons? What's with all these labels, man? Autobots, Decepticons, gay, straight, just pick a few robots and let's party. Hey, what's going on in here? What robot growls? That's Starscream. He's a Decepticon. I'm the Decepticons. Look, why don't you just beat it? All right, all right, relax. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll be this guy over here. That's He-Man. We're playing Transformers. Well, maybe this is the one where He-Man visits. Brian, get out of here. We now return to the post Roe vs. Wade Brady Bunch. Greg, Marsha, get down here. <laughs> He's not moving. We gotta get him to the hospital. You got it, Lois. To the Peter Rang. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Look, do you have any idea how expensive medical school is? No, I don't. Well, it's probably pretty expensive. Lois, we came as soon as we got your call. Oh, Hope. Them gabo Hollywood actors do to keep their stuff away from other guys' butts. Don't you understand? Scotty needs help. And he'll get it. Through faith. That's right. We will heal him with the power of prayer. Y you, you can't just let them walk out of here. If you die tomorrow, you think we're going to be devastated. But you know what? We're just going to go out and buy another dog. And maybe this dog will fetch a stick and bring me my slippers instead of prattling on about the pros and cons of various religions. Chris, I think you've had too much sugar cereal. King Louis XI. Ah, damn it, I knew that. Ah, well, me and the with a big black King Louis XI. Tim, select. Mary Baker Eddy? Let me see that. This is your god? A woman? Well, she's the founder of our faith. Oh, really? So with this book from the 1800s, you can pray away paralysis or terminal illness? Pray with us. I think you'll find that with God's love and a true belief, all manner of miracles are possible. Look, I'm a churchgoer too, but sometimes prayer isn't enough. He needs professional medical care. You know, Lois, this couch would be perfect for one of your... ...every Sunday. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. We believe all the same things that you believe, but we go to church on Saturdays. What? <laughs> ...religious persecution. They made sure we all had a right to religious freedom, and it's my job to protect that. So there's nothing we can do? You could contribute to the policeman's ball. What? What does that have to do with a sick child? Look, lump around Europe looking for my hot daughter. Although, is it any worse than what they're doing? They're letting a kid die. It's too bad we're not dragon heart. Then we could just fly around on a dragon and forget about all this. You know what? That's exactly what we should do. What? Peter, what the hell? Where's your ski mask? It's kind of hard to breathe in those things, so I just dressed up like Harry Potter. <sighs> all right, let's go. Lois, if anything should happen to us, I want you to know, I haven't been happy for a long time. Check. Sexy PETA distracting the gods? Check. Hello, boys. Come up and have sex with me sometime. Van full of PETAs who all have stern faces because they're about to pull off a heist. PETA? PETA, are you there? Now let's go get that kid. <sighs> okay, he's in the left upstairs bedroom. All right, you keep the car going in case there's trouble. What was that? I don't know. It came from Scotty's room. All right, we did it. Yes, we got the kid and the treasure. Peter, there's no treasure. Stabbed 17 times in the chest, I'd say the murderer knew the victim intimately. Good evening, I'm Tom Tucker with some breaking news. A local kidnapping has rocked Quahog tonight.
is a wonderland, by the way. What is the city doing to help rescue the missing boy? Well, we're looking for this child using all the latest technology, including the newest, most advanced multimedia milk cartons. Ah! Oh my God, Charles! Oh my God, I'll run and get help. No, no, we've got to carry him. We can't leave him here. There's a wolf. Um, there's not really a wolf. What? Oh, my kids, I love them. You know what? But let's just turn ourselves in. I got a great lawyer, and he says worst case, 8 to 12 years. And when we get out, we'll still have the rest of our lives ahead of us. Driving is my overprotective boyfriend, who is suspicious whenever I am called into work at night, even though I've been a reporter for years, Tyrone. I thought I told you to mention my painting business. Very well, if torture won't work, perhaps a little tenderness will. Mmm, I like coast to coast. Well, that could be the ideal place to unleash my mass hypnosis device on the unsuspecting public. Oh, I always love this little sailor suit. All we could do... Brian eyes. You might notice that new script smell. <laughs> Every car I hand wash comes with a smile, an air freshener, and a copy of my can't-miss coming-of-age teen comedy set in Wisconsin. What's your name? Ticket. I mean, really, how am I supposed to follow that act? Bite the head off a chicken? Dad, they're staring at me. They're just jealous. <sighs> uh, you're next. Hey, wh wait a minute. Wait, we were next. Self with useless labels. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid I answered your question with another question. Um, how old do you think Daddy is? 42. Did you hear that, Lois? We're going to Hollywood! Where the people are sexy and clever and they always say something funny right before the commercial break. But forget it. For the next five hours, you're my bitch. Where? Where? My ears are popping and there's no way to console me. I'm hungry and possibly teething. Maybe I'm wet. My, uh... My... <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm just jacking you, man. Me, me and my buddy Phil just found your script at Starbucks. Tell him it sucks. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, can we see you for dinner? Yeah, yeah, you're not too famous to get together with your old family, are you? Well, I, uh, uh, I, I was invited to the premiere of the new, uh... He doesn't speak any English. Can I? Mm, 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 mm. Catching up. Okay, me first. I'm in love. Ooh, too much dressing. He's from the Philippines. I know, I know, I'm a rice queen. So how's the writing thingy going? <sighs> Terrible. I think after Eddie Murphy told him he was just giving the transvestite a ride home. Oh, I think that's me. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> hey, hey, Peter, it's Quagmire. Oh, hey, Quagmire. Guess what? Kids want to get with. Jasper was right. You're very talented. You know, I'm, I'm having a brainstorm here. Have you ever thought about directing? Oh, just every waking hour. Well, I, I got this movie. Uh, that guy who wrote Porky's Drink, huh? Huh? Oh, man, when that, when that fat broad grabbed that kid's crank through the hole? Ah, uh, where did they get their ideas? Huh? Where did they get them? You're the writer, you tell me. Oh. Hey, you know what might be a thrill for you guys? Oh, oh, eating a pebble! Yes, but uh, I, I was talking about stopping by the set to see me in action. <gasps> Brian, could we really? Well, you, uh... You do know somebody. Yes, and I'm sick and tired of you people always calling during dinner. I demand to speak to your supervisor. Hold, please. Oh, Peter, I love this song. Open your poo commercial, right? Do I have to sleep with the dog in this one? Hey, can someone fluff Paul? He's got like a windsock thing going on. So this is some kind of shampoo commercial, right? No way I would possibly consider doing something like this. Unless I saw a script first. Of course. You know, this isn't bad. Come on, Pete. I want to save some tape for the Hollywood sign. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot, you guys. Hey, our pleasure. Have a nice... Maybe you should go back to graduate school and finish your dissertation. And that's when you notice the cable man has taken his pants off. Oh, wow. A real movie set. Hey, this house looks kind of familiar. I'll you gotta leave. Get these people out of here now. Oh, what? Now that you're a big director, we embarrass you? No, no. I, I, I mean, yes. Does anyone else smell Astroglide? You're gonna look... God, I, I didn't see it. It jumped right out in front of my car. Oh, I am so sorry. I think we just have to face it, Peter. Brian's a big-time Hollywood director, and we're just simple, small-town people. It's Stewie, you see, I had an uncle named Stewie, and he used to sell bicycles. Look, I, I'm sorry. Aren't you supposed to be asking me a question? Stewie, what do you think candy is made out of? And we also used to play a buck buck. Enough of your blather. Good evening, world. 
From this moment on, I will be your. Stop it! Stop applauding him! He's not even using real words anymore! We'll be back with a little girl from Atlanta who skips rope with her sister's pigtails! Go, go! Good news! Good news! What, more people I love think I'm an arrogant jerk? You're more than that, Mr. Nominated for an Adult Movie Award for Best New Director? Oh, Woody? I'm a- Mom! It sure is, Melissa. All the studs and sluts are arriving. <laughs> Ryan! Ryan! Uh, hey. You're nominated for three of the seven films you directed yesterday, and- Plugged in. You're- You're not even on television right now, are you? In my mind. <laughs> the next award is for Best Original Score in an Adult Film. Thing from the vacuum cleaner. Lois! Hey, buddy. Hey, how are you, Alfred Hitchcock? Eh? Yeah, you like that one dick hurts? Eh? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm already drunk. How, how, how did you get away from you guys to find what was missing in my life, but the only thing I'm missing is my family? How, how could I ever become involved in this filthy, degrading business? And the award goes to... Back in Quahog. You got a nice wiggle, baby. You want to be in a movie, huh? A little girl-girl action, maybe? Oh, Peter! <laughs> Good luck, buddy. I've been barking up that tree for 17 years.